Uh, so, um, Robin's my favorite character. He's One, amazing. Two. <laughs> so I have a question. Yes. So what if Robin and Micaias, which you also voiced, yes. uh, met Jin, and then what would happen if they met, if they all met uh, Sinkets, and then met Ryo Ryoka Matoy? That's a lot of characters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my head literally just exploded if I were to try to do all four of those characters at the same time. Uh, having a, uh, a conversation. Uh, what would be a good conversation? Um, let's see, Senkets. Uh, if they all met each other and then met Ryuko. Yeah. Um, let's see, so Senkets. Let's start off with, what was it, uh, Robin? Yep. Uh, Robin would look at Ryuko and say, I'm always three steps ahead. Uh, Jin would be like, whatever, brother. Um, and who was the other one? Michaelis? Yes. Michaelis kind of sounds like Brimjow, so he would be like... Really? He sounds kind of more like a Jin. More like Jin? Yes, because okay. they're both. So Michaelis would be like, um... <laughs> Back off the both of you! Uh, and then Senkets would be like, Forget you guys. I'm here for the blood. That was a tough one, and I can hear the crickets in the audience after that one. But I tried, darn it, I tried! <laughs> those are always really hard. That was a tough one. That's, that's super, I had somebody who asked me a question like that before. <laughs> and they asked me like eight different characters, and I was like... Uh, they would probably honestly like ignore each other. Like, if they, yeah. if they have nothing to do with each other, they're just gonna be like, whatever. Whatever. Dorks, you know? Like, bye. <laughs> Yeah, those are always hard questions. <laughs> but good one. I yes. appreciate the effort. Yes. <laughs> yes! Hey, welcome to Kawaii Con. Happy birthday, Marcus. Never forget, it is always time to tip the scales. No, no, surprisingly, um, she asked how I got into the Fire, uh, the Fire Emblem series. Woo. And surprisingly, the Fire Emblem series was, I, I auditioned for it just like any other, and I had no idea. Okay, what Fire Emblem even was? I had no idea. I went in, I auditioned for it, I got the job, the job lasted about 30 minutes, and I was done. The whole game? The whole game. I recorded the whole game in about 30 minutes. Wow. He, he doesn't say that much. Now, get this, so I had no idea, but that Fire Emblem Awakening saved the whole franchise. Woo. And I had no clue until actually I was at a convention and everybody's bringing me their Fire Emblem Awakening games to sign. And um, that's when I knew that I had become part of something special. After that point, then I knew that it was, it was, I was really part of something special. I was very excited to be a part of it. I just didn't know. And that happens quite often, is that you'll go and record something as a working actor that you don't realize the context, because the directors sometimes don't tell you a lot of the context. But uh, I auditioned for it, just like I auditioned for all of my jobs. But great question, I love that question. Yeah, how are you going? Hi, my name is Ryuko. Uncanny, right? No, I just <laughs> no, I can't do female voices. I can't do. I don't have that kind of range. I would say, you know, here's a funny story I'll tell you about range. You guys know who Yuri Lowenthal is. Yeah. yeah. So Yuri is a is a really really talented guy, a uh, really great actor, and he and I did a show called Gun Sword. Anybody see Gun Sword? Okay. So I did Gun Sword, and uh, Yuri plays this uh, character. He's a 14-year-old character, uh, young boy, an annoying character. And in the studio, I kept on listening. I kept on hearing Yuri's voice. And so I started mimicking his voice in my truck after the studio, you know, on my way home from the studio. And one day we're in the, um, the, the studio and we're recording, and the whole series, I'm, I'm, my character sounds like this. Vaughn, Vaughn of the Dawn. And so, uh, between takes, I decided to play a prank on Liam O'Brien, who is directing, and I busted up with my best Yuri Lowenthal. Vaughn! Vaughn, what's happening? <laughs> and so, and so uh, Liam is in there, and he's like, where's Yuri's voice coming from? So, I mean, yeah, I mean, stuff like that. I can go pretty high, but it, it has to be something like that. I couldn't do a female character. Unless he sounded like uh, he smoked, or she smoked for about, you know, 50 years. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good to see you all here. Yeah. So when you do... God. 
Here's a really important request. A re important request, okay. Can you do Robin confessing his love to Lucina? <laughs> Robin confessing his love to Lucina. Okay. Um, okay. <laughs> Too hard? Lucina, you know that I'm always three steps ahead. I love you. <laughs> How was that? Thank you. Awesome. In. All right, everybody's recording, great. Now that's strategy. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect! So, I have two questions. Hi, that's an issue of mine. So, uh, watashi wa nihongo no yoi desu ka? Nihongo desu ka? Yoi so you, what you, what you... I'm asking if my Japanese is good. Ah, okay, so... I'm asking if she thinks my Japanese is good. Ah, okay. I'm asking if she thinks my Japanese is good. Ah, okay. I'm asking if she thinks my Japanese is good. Ah, okay. I'm asking if she thinks my Japanese is good. Ah, So what you said right now was... Am I is my ja No, is my Japanese good? Well, you missed the verb. I know. But, so, she, so that's why she's like, Oh, Sam! Just one more word and you would have been perfect. Yeah. So yes. Okay, so um, what would happen if Hayate met uh, Kaede from Negima and Rin from Naga Erosoto? <laughs> I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Hayate and who? Hayate Ayasaki? Yes. Hayate to Kaede? So Kaede? Yeah, from so Negima. So Hayate and Kaede met each other? You said right? No. Ka Kaede from Negima. Yes. And run from uh, Nagase Eroto? I, I can't, can't remember how to pronounce it. Okay, so your question is, if Hayate met, met Kaeda, right? So, and do you want to know, like, would they beat up each other, or like what the dialogue would be? Or you no, just I just want to know what would happen. Oh, okay. So, okay, so, so, Hayate ga, moshi, Kaeda ni, Kaede? Ka, I don't know, Kaede ni, eh, どうなるでしょう。ええ。早手が変えてにでやったら。どうするんだろう。バトル。バトルしたらどっち強いんだろう。No, <笑>そう、そう、いいやつ。いいやつだね。うん。そう、<笑> she said that probably what she thinks would happen would be Hayate would probably basically risk his life to make sure and protect Kaede. And because of that, she feels that Kaede would be really grateful and he would probably think, oh wow, this guy's a great guy. Maybe, who knows, maybe he would even you know, like him a little bit, and I don't know, but um, he said that, you know, at the end of the day though, Hayate is a really good guy, so he's really popular. He gets a lot of uh, play. <laughs> それは、モテる、イコール、女性と男性両方ともにモテるから、早田はどうだろう。あ、いろんな意味で男性からモテるかも。いや、そう、早田は、パートナー女子とレディースとかで、そうだね。いや、そう、早田は、パートナー女子と